Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Garden Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. Very windy day, guys, and we're expected to be quite cool tomorrow with rain. Sure hope we get it. But I went out this morning and I picked some purple hull peas. Now, we only planted that one raised bed, and so far we've gotten about three pounds from it. So I'm having to do this as they come in, and that's why I'm gonna preserve them this way. I'm gonna show you how to preserve your purple hull peas without canning. So we've shelled them up this morning and I'm soaking them and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a good wash. I'm probably gonna wash them two or three times. I have my water on the stove and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. And I have my cooling bath uh, so that I can throw my peas in here to cool after I blanch them for about two minutes. We have them rinsed up in the colander and now we're waiting for our water to come to a boil. Now we plan on planting a lot more of these next year, guys. Um, and in the event that you have a much bigger harvest, you might wanna go ahead and try canning them instead of blanching and freezing them. But since we're getting uh, these sporadically and they're coming in smaller bunches, we're uh, going ahead and freezing up a pound at a time. Now I did buy those seeds from Bradley Seeds. He's in Florence, Alabama. And let me tell you something, I got probably 100% germination. I'll be getting my seeds from him again. My water is a boiling. I'm gonna put my peas in there for two minutes, guys. Two minutes. I'm gonna give them a little stir. Now you can try to go ahead and pop these in the freezer, freezer guys, but it's my understanding if you do, they lose their texture, they get mushy, and they lose quite a bit of their flavor. So be sure and don't skip this process. Time is up, I'm gonna transfer them to my cold water bath. We're gonna let these sit a bit and cool off. And now we're letting them drain a little bit before we put them in a freezer bag. So these are the ones I froze the other day. Pretty excited about these guys. Now you may not think that a pound is a lot, but you can see it's quite a bit. And uh, this is about to four to five mils. So although we're, so far we've only gotten about three pounds of these, we feel pretty lucky because now we've got about 15 side dishes uh, for the family that we will really enjoy. They're fresh, they're delicious. Um, they have a very creamy, uh, mild, flavor. You can flavor them up with some of your hatch green chilies or jalapenos. The way I cooked mine is I cooked them in uh, chicken broth. I had sauteed a little bit of onion, a little bit of bacon together, a little bit of garlic, and then I put them in the Instapot for an hour um, with chicken broth, just enough to cover them with a little bit of water. They turned out fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. God bless. Hope you enjoyed this video.